Hello everybody. Today I am working on some booklets for inside the journals. Uh, this is one of the little covers that I have from the Bella collection and this is another one. It's a bit plain. I thought I have this little cut out from when I cut my lady out yesterday. Maybe I can use part of that flower and um, make a little decoration for the front of it. So I'll just go ahead and cut this out and then I'll be back. All right, so I've cut those pieces out and I thought I will, because that part there is cut strangely where the lady was I've just cut another little piece off and I will just um, perhaps just put it like that like that. There, yeah, that might be better. Uh, yeah, something like that anyway. And that will make the cover of that little one. So I'll just glue that on. Um, I may just give it a little edge because the cover's quite uh, vintage looking. So just whatever's on my little door, but there I'll just use that just to soften the edge a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's already <laughs> taken that off. And I hope everybody's keeping well. Uh, and I'll just leave a little gap in there so I can slide the other one. So I'll just put it there. How was I going to do that? <laughs> okay, I was going to slide it under there a bit, wasn't I? Uh, a bit just just like that I'll say there that'll do okay so that is our cover let's just right and these are just going to be quite plain. Inside the cover though I do want to add some lace. This is just some lace I've tea stained. Uh, sometimes they're a little bit hard to see which is the right and wrong way but if you look this one has see tiny little end pieces tufting up and so I'm going to take that as a cue that that's the wrong side. So okay, so that's going to go like that. And I'm just going to stitch around it, leaving a little border. all the way around so that I'll see a little border of lace around the edge of it once it's done and I will stitch that on the sewing machine and I will probably stitch two rows all the way around keeping it a little bit shabby looking Okay. 
and then I'll come back. Okay, so that's done. Um, there we go, you can see it on that side. Just some couple of loosely sewn straight stitches around the edge. I'm just folding this in half now. Like that. And now I can trim up my lace. I just want it a little bit. Same with the other. And that just adds a, a little bit of prettiness to the cover, but also a little bit of strength to the cover as well, because it's only, um, although it's good quality copy paper, you know, it is only copy paper. couple of those larger pieces perhaps that I cut off um, get rid of that I think okay and now we need to put some pages in it so I'll go gather up a few pages and then I'll be back so I've gathered a few papers together and cut them to size and now I'm just going to fold them all in half properly. It's just plain paper, some graph paper, very similar to what I've made the journals out of. Uh, some children's writing paper copy paper, more graph paper, lined paper, oh, hang on, I might just tidy that little bit there up a bit. Piping paper and then just organize them you don't have to have them even like I've got them you can have them going up and down and wherever you want to put them it's up to you So once you've got them all, just make sure they're all in the middle. Now you can either stitch it in by hand, or because it's such a small booklet, I can put this in my sewing machine. I just line that up as evenly as I can. I've got a couple of paper clips. I remembered to buy some yesterday because I completely ran out. That's why the paper dolls were done in green, <laughs> in green paper clips or blue. I think they were blue paper clips. So there we go. That's just to hold it while I stitch it. And you can either stitch it from the back there or from that side there. I think I'm going to stitch mine from the back because it will be easier for me to see that, I think. Just making sure they're nice and on a large stitch. 
Okay, that's all done. And I did back stitch on the front and back, uh, on the top and the bottom. Take those off. inside you can decorate the pages if you wish it's entirely up to you just um I usually just put a few little um, punched flowers or things like that it's only a little booklet to jot things down on um, but it's nice to have one or two little bits in there I could use like these you know, and put something like that, or a little tuck spot or something, but I'll work that out before I finish the journals. But that's how we make the little journals, very easy. Um, you could even put something on the back, or even, I don't know, perhaps I should have stamped a flower or something on the back. Um, but there's still time to do that. So, uh, what else? Oh, I did make, I made some of these the other day as well. Um, this was a leftover sheet of Stamperia paper, and I think it was the Orchids and Cats collection. I made a journal out of it, and this is doubled up. And I just cut this out on the Cricut machine. And I think I curved one of the corners. I've already put them in here. Uh, there's one in each packet. Here we go. Oops. Don't want to muck that up. There we go, like that. And then I, I put gold around the edge of it as well. Um, so that will be nice to use as a tuck spot and put things in as well. What else shall we do? Um, where's the other one? Oh, there. <laughs> so there we have two of them, like that. Um, I feel like I'd like to put something just on the outside. Like a little bit of lace or oh 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 uh, I don't know if this is the right colour. Um just maybe a little bit of that up there. This is the trim I got from Ivy. All those beautiful trims I bought. Um, I think I've got a bit of sari silk. Maybe I'll put a bit of sari silk on there as well. Gail sent me some sari silk. So I could put a little bit of that on there. 
somehow like that just to add a little bit of color to the front a bit of lightness um, Just stitch that on perhaps rather than glue it on. Just a moment. Sorry for not talking. <laughs> How about that? That way it's not it's not too much, is it? But it's or even That one, just a little one down the bottom, just to, and I could, yeah, okay, let's glue that down first. Um... So that kind of lifts it a bit, doesn't it? Whoops. I don't want to see any glue. That lifts it a little bit. Uh, but I could also... I actually meant to put gold around them before I stitched the fabric on but it's a bit late for that now isn't it I wonder if I can get this to give me some glitter might give me a little bit I could just not a lot.
kind of a bit like that. should not be left alone with glitter. <laughs> should not be left alone because I, I love it. Just adding it very sparsely along the sewing line a bit. Okay, so hopefully that will look all right. So I've done that one. I'll let that dry. And then on this one, I just did a little bit of the um, glitter inside the middle of the flowers, just so it didn't feel left out. So I'll put those to one side now to dry and the ladies from yesterday uh, the color didn't run at all which was lovely so I'm very very thankful for that so okay but not look at them too much because I'll end up touching them with other and, and just um, fiddling with them Okay, so I need to put one of these in each of these. So this one in that one there. That. And this one goes in this one here. Like that. And there's I've done the little booklets. Oh, I haven't put the pages in for this one yet. Um, so I'll do that one probably the same. And I might just, I, I don't know, I might just punch some flowers out for that one. Um, I'll work something out. Uh, that one might be all right with that bit of that all right so that one whoops that one can go like that and I just need to put the inside pages in the same and then once I put the pages in this I'll do a similar type of decoration on there all right so they have been done now. I've put the pages in and I've just put the glitter glue on that one. So I need to let those dry as well. Um, I did print, I made up these little, almost like a cameo. I took the heads of a couple of the ladies and put it in one of the little, a frame. Um, it, you won't get that in the kit exactly the way I've done it but um, I'll show you what I've done here I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it I just thought it might be a bit of fun to play uh, these have been covered in the gesso so they ran just a little bit it's not too bad because they're so tiny um, but I've back them onto some index card so that's that one and that's that one so you can see and I've just gone around them with a bit of gold and I thought they might make nice little charms or something uh, if I was to put a little hole very carefully of course 
My hole punch isn't, I don't think, small enough. Maybe I should use a, a, a doll needle might be better. Okay. Put a doll needle through the top of it like that. And that makes a hole in the top. And I thought I might be able to make a couple of little charms or something out of them. Something a little bit different to hang off some ephemera. And that's why I covered them in the gesso, just to make them a little bit stronger. All right, this is just a, a pad of paper that I use and once it gets ridiculously grubby looking then I rip a sheet off and there's a clean sheet underneath it. <laughs> well, now it'll have little holes in it as well. So there's that. Um, I also I have these little things that might be a bit too big to, yeah that might be a bit big. They've got little sequins. I could add a little sequin perhaps, a couple more, one, two, how many have I got here, three, do I have one more, no, I was using them on something else, uh, hang on, another one they're sort of they're, they're really pretty they've got all these colors in them I just found those at the op shop um so pretty they've got that real vintage look to them uh, now what what about So I could add a little bead. Let me just maybe. Uh, I've got these little bronze pins here. more gold not that it really matters I guess This looks all right. So we could, oh, we could put a little bit of the, maybe a little bit of lace on there. So like that. Let's have a look. 
So you've got to kind of do it backwards, I think. A bit of lace. I wonder if we can just... A bit of lace. That. That. Oh, hang on. Mm. And a little bead. So it's like that. And that can be another little embellishment. Yeah. Doesn't move very much. Yeah, maybe you see that little hole might need. I don't want to break the paper though. That might be a bit better. Let's try that. Oh, careful. Ah, oh, see, you've got to be careful. Be careful. You know what it needs? Just let me put a little bit of glue in there. I think it needs a little jump ring on it. So that it moves just a little bit. I think that might work better. Let me see if I've got one. I have a gazillion silver toned ones in like the vintage silver and these are from baby craft so I will use one of these it's not my edge be a bit bigger than that I'm thinking maybe that one how many is there three Three, four. Okay. Let's use the much. These ones are a bit more comfortable. Well, not comfortable. They're a bit shorter, so I'm used to them. So hopefully... Have a look, that might give it a little bit more swing, like that. Like that. Hmm. Ah. Oh, I did get it on. <laughs> and like that. Let's have a look. So, yeah, that swings better. I could have even put the sequin and the bead on there as well, in fact. Maybe that will look better. We'll get there. We will get there. Although I don't know how easy the bead will be to get on there. We'll find out. Oh, wrong spot. So, I need, oh, I don't know, oh, that one there, and, oh, look at that, I got it on, oh, okay. A hash of that. Okay, that might work. Let's have a look. Okay, glue. Okay, so we've got the lace, we've got the little charm, we've got the sequin and the bead on the jump ring and that moves a lot better now. So 
think that's how I will do that. Um, I quite like that. Do I want the... I don't know if I want that kinked like that. It doesn't really hang right now, does it? Let's have a look. Maybe I just need it like that. Um... Like that, yeah, I think so. Just like that. And I can use that. I can. E I could even attach one to the front of the little booklet if I wanted to. Um, that's pretty, isn't it? So I'll go ahead and make those, I think, now. And I hope you have enjoyed. Oh, aren't they pretty? See, I could... just you know use that to decorate a page you don't need a lot in these little booklets and how pretty is that I might do that um okay so they're all done I have two of each one for one journal one for the other journal this is what they look like I will show you so that's that one and and that one there and they will be used in the journal both of the journals as well so I hope you enjoyed this video today for the booklets and the little charms um, and they've got some nice movement on them and I, I still have all those the bracelet charms yeah, these all these little charms that I can use as well. I could have put one of these little ones on as well, but we, I can use them in other places. Um, okay, I have to let my booklets dry, so I can't really go um, decorating. That's the only one without any glitter on. Maybe it needs some glitter. Oh, I know what I can put on it. Let's just move those to the side. Um, what about... It has no colour on this one, does it? It doesn't have to have colour on it. Oh, but that one might look, that one look cute. I've got one there. Just to have, like... Um, what about like that? A little flower in each corner, or just at the top, like that. I can do something at some stage. Maybe I should have put colour on it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, I know. We'll add a bit of this. This one's the, um, I think, Gold Coast. Where will we put that? We'll just put a few little, just to jazzy her up a little bit. bit on her hat there and there. little bit on her sleeves like that what about oh down the middle of her garment there yeah. Oh, careful. Tiny little bit on her feet. Okay, stop. About. 
Okay. So on her little bows, on her dress there, and her toes. All right, I'm stopping. So at least she's got a little bit of sparkle, and I will leave those to dry now. And that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.